Wow. There's a brother on there already. Shalom. <clears throat> Let's go. Here we go. Shalom, brother. And all brothers. <laughs> Shalom family. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get right into it. All right, first and foremost, all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect out there. And uh, this lesson is going to be entitled Straight and Plain. What should we do if they come for us? What should we do if they come for us? And I know that's on everybody's mind because the news of the day is going around and what, what's going on. You know, and we've been hearing about it. There's a video circulating among the brotherhood. Among Really, it's going viral over the whole internet. People being forcibly removed from their homes and taken, you know, to get a test or whatever, whatever it be, right? And I'm sure everybody's in everybody's minds. Brothers been discussing it already among ourselves today, man. You know, and I just want to give you a little bit of scriptural insight on it because what the scriptures say, because I've heard, you know, Jake say, uh, I'm going to go out fighting. You know, that's somebody's attitude. I'm going to go out fighting. Well, you got to think about it logically. If they roll up on you at your house and they say, you know, well, we, you know, we have reason to believe you might be, uh, we have reason to believe that you might be, uh, your health may be compromised. We need you to go with us to the hospital to get a test. What are you going to do? What do the scriptures say you should do? And it doesn't mention the medical condition, but you also have to look at the Lord. What did the Lord do? When they rode up in, when the Romans, when his time came and the Romans came to get him, what did he do? Did he fight? Did he go out blazing in glory? Did he fight or did he trust the Lord? He trusted his father. He knew what was going on. He went ahead and went. Now, let me get real quick. Let's grab a quick scripture first. Y'all bear with me here. Getting a little slow. In my old age. This is going to be first. Just, just give me a second here. Um. Uh, gonna be second Timothy I believe just give me a quick second here. let me look it up so anyway that was a bad scripture too I want to read that one I just came across yeah I mean you know, hey the brother the brother got the answer man for the most part for the most part because this is the thing, the Most High is going, and we'll elaborate on it in a little bit. Let me first uh, get the scripture that I want here. So yeah, if you're in that situation, and the COVID-19 <laughs> police roll up on you and they say it's time you gotta go get a test or this or that, you gotta remember that everything's in the Most High's hands. Okay, you got to have faith. This is a uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 it says this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come just very plain perilous times are going to come and they're upon you now with all these things that you're hearing there's so many things it's choking out information there's so much information coming out now it's choking out information in my, in my mind man you're hearing all these words these vaccine you're hearing uh uh, what's this thing called? Uh, contact tracing, DARPA hydrogel, nanotechnology. You're just hearing all this stuff. Now, this says parable times. And when you look at the word, it's lock here. The Strong's word. Strong's G5467. Chalipas. Chalipas. <laughs> and that's the word for, for perilous. Chalipas, right? And it says, what are perilous times? Hard to do or deal with, difficult, fierce, hard, rough, violent times. 
it says here uh, through the idea of reducing the strength difficult i.e. dangerous furious fierce perilous times are gonna come and we've been warning about this stuff hard to do hard to take hard to approach hard to bear troublesome dangerous harsh fierce savage let's go back and read it again this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come hard to deal with right fierce harsh times are coming and we see it it's right there at the doors man and they and they already made us the face of COVID-19 so that means when they get ready to start pulling people out of their houses where are they gonna go first they're gonna go to the hood they coming to your neighborhood right now you gotta remember at the end of the day everything is of the most high right and that's why we know that all the scoffers all the mockers all that damn joke playing and talking negative against the prophets guess what the very one that sent the prophets to you to warn you is the same one that's going to be negotiating and conducting judgment whether you get pulled out of your house your damn ears get chopped off guess who's going to be controlling that your how about shimmy how shot you know your how about shimmy how shot is going to be controlling that now let's get right to it let's go here to matthew so that's why we say you always got to watch you know as the scriptures say every idle word and can a brother put that up? Every idle word. Put that one up. We'll read it. Because see, just before you knew it, all, everything was all good just a week ago. We prophesying the word, Jake playing around, making songs, doing the brew walk, doing the woo walk. Now shit done got real. Now how hip hop gonna help you? How's rap songs gonna help you? How was going into the concordance trying to manipulate a breakdown off of the word mark when it when it clearly says that the mark is a literal thing, the mark of the beast. How that's gonna help you now? It ain't gonna help you. All them hard speeches Jake been talking, the Most High is going to bring that on you, man. Now, this is Matthew 5, 25. It says, Agree with thine adversary whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. And that's just for a basic term, right? You're supposed to do after what, what that says. You got to, hey, when the, if like with that dude in the, in the uh, I don't know if he was a Lithuanian or whether he was from uh, U Ukraine or Russia or whatever it was, you know, R Ukraine or Russia. But when the police came, he tried to talk his way out of it, but you can't talk your way out of it. Is that what the most I got to happen? You know, have happen for a particular brother or sister, then your best bet, and like, and, I, and believe me, I don't want to go to no hospital and get no tests done, but you got to trust the most high, man. You got to trust the most high. He going to get you out of it in some kind of way, or he won't. That could just be your judgment. But like I told a brother that, you know, to ask, it's like this, man. You know, Esau gonna come with his subtlety and try to, you know, say you need a test, you go to the hospital, this or that. But just like the brother said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, what did they do? They went. Daniel, they just went peacefully. Because, look, that dude, the Russian guy, whatever he was, he realized that if he didn't go willfully, they was gonna beat the shit out of him and take him anyway. So it's up to you. You wanna, you wanna go all messed up or you wanna just go? And when you get to the hospital, man, the most high might make that thing where, hey, he gonna put the spirit, you gotta you gotta have faith. The most high gonna make everything work to the good of those, man. That that fear his name, that fear his purpose. Now for you scoffers and you shit talkers, hey, who knows what's gonna happen to you, man. But for those that are of the household of faith, you gotta go and walk in the spirit knowing that the most high is gonna protect you. Let's read it again real quick. Matthew 5. And I can see by the way the comment board rolling that this I knew the title was gonna incite emotions and it was gonna rouse emotions and, and because everybody you know we saw me like shit you know yeah brother big faith everybody was like shit they came and grabbed him and took him <laughs> i don't even know what nanobots is my nigga <laughs> hey but it's hey i'm laughing at it now man but believe me we was all shook when we seen the shit forced vaccination but you just gotta know man the most high gonna send the angels in some bro some brother's case the angels gonna come defend you right away in another person's case the day before they come show up to try to get you the most high gonna be already than gave you one and you're gonna be done took off and left. For others, you're gonna get you might get took, they might take you someplace, then you get delivered. You don't know, man. For all you know, as much people as watch our videos, some of the people that come to try to take you to do you harm, they might see you. The most high might put the spirit on them and be like, you know what? I know this dude from somewhere. Where I know this this brother from, man. Oh, he wanted them Israelites. Nah, man, I ain't doing angry to do nothing to them. I'm gonna let them go. You just don't know what the Lord gonna do. He gonna work some out of your favor. You have to remember. Let me go real quick. Let's go to Revelation real quick. This is Revelation chapter 7, right? When we read in verse 
verse 9. Listen to this. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Now, this great multitude were people that were, were saved. You can't even count them all. So as many people as going to die, it's going to be a great number of Israelites that be delivered that nobody can count from all nations, man. So guess what? Although many perish, many are going to be delivered. That didn't just happen by accident. The Most High has got something prepared that the elect is going to be delivered, man. So no matter what, the Lord said, though you go through the rivers, you know, you, uh, uh go, hey, can a brother put that up? Isaiah 41, I believe it is. Where it says, uh, uh, that you go through the fire, you will not be burned. You got to rely on what's written in the scriptures, man. You have the brother, it's a bad scripture. Put on the whole armor of the most high, man. Which is dealing with this word. Uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. The, the, the devil going to show you things and make you afraid. That's your flesh, man. Right? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We all know that. And it's a fearful, you know, fearful sight. Things you're going to see that's going to shake you to the core, man. But you got to remember faith. At the end of the day, the Lord going to deliver those. And Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barak, the elders, Akim, and, and the apostles watching in the background back there. You know? Because of everybody being watched. That's a common knowledge. Yeah, this is uh, I'm the one I bought. Isaiah 43, verse 1. It says, But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, the one that created you, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. How you gonna say fear not? It might chop my head off. <laughs> yeah, your flesh be afraid, but your spirit's gonna overpower that. For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine, a great multitude, which no man can number. Thou art mine, said the Lord. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And the waters don't just mean regular, regular waters. It's got to do with people's kindred multitudes, the proud waters had gone over your soul, except the Lord of hosts had protected you, man. When thou passest through the waters, I will not, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame, and I'm saying it from, oh, there it is. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, for I am Yahweh, thy power. The Holy One of Israel, thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sabah for thee. And y'all y'all can see the rest. You know, the Most High is going to do something miraculous, man. The miracle is going to come. At some point, the spiritual power is going to come, you know. And they might, hey, it, it could just be something as simple as they're trying to find your house. They can't find it. The Most High might make it manifest to where they can't find you. It might be a great light from the heavens shining them, blind them all. They can't see you. It's just different things the Lord is going to do. But for the immediate, again, Matthew 5, 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him. Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the uh, officer, and thou be cast into prison. Now the scriptures do say some of us going to be cast into prison, but as far as this this uh, pandemic police or whatever they want to call them, man, when they come for you, if they come for you, because they may not even come for you. They may, you know, the most high may, hey, we, we kept Passover for a reason. You kept Passover to, the, to, to the, know that the Lord may pass over you when judgment comes. It's different forms of that. Not only just the nuclear missiles, it's other things that you you are uh, hoping that the Lord pass you over. You're hoping he pass over your house when it comes to a pestilence. You're hoping he pass over your house, of course, with the nuclear missiles. You're hoping he pass over your house when it comes to the oppressor, coming with the sword, and different other things, man. The scripture tells us when the wild beast going crazy, Job chapter 5, if a brother want to put that up, you're going to be at league with the stones of the field, with the beasts of the field, man. So you got to believe in the promises. But if by chance... They do show up at your door. The best thing to do would just, hey, trust the Lord, man, and go quietly. Don't make a big ruckus. Yeah, you can try to get tough, try to pop hard if you want to. But the only thing going to happen is you're going to still go. Whether you go all fucked up or not, or whether you just go as your whole self, hey, it, it remains to be seen, man. Or the most I could put the spirit on you, and you might handle that. Who knows? There's no way to know for sure, man. But we know one thing that we just read it. The great multitude going to be delivered, right? To no, no, and I've been meditating on that. I don't know how the Lord gonna get us out of this shit, man. But He said He gonna deliver a great multitude. Will you think He lying? He gonna deliver so many Israelites, we ain't gonna be able to even count them all. So that means you gonna be go, you gonna get delivered from everything, man. So for a great many of us, you gonna make it out of this thing unscathed. I mean, of course you are gonna go through something. There it is. You gotta start 
hey, you know, lean on these promises that the Most High wrote about, man. This is GMS Louisville, Kentucky. Job 5.23. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And Esau is a beast, right? Well, it really just means they ain't going to get you. They're going to get somebody else. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, Ammonai Yasharala. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You know, and I'm reading it all, you know, all mixed up. But you brothers and sisters see it on the comment board. It's there, man. And, and to water to you brothers for posting them scriptures up, man. Let's get that vibration going of we being delivered. Because that's why we preach the word. That's why we do the work. That's why we make lessons. That's why we do all this stuff, man. We do these things that we might be delivered. We, which one of us is going, yeah, I'm going to do this lesson. I know the Lord going to kill me. He going to cut my head off. I'm gonna... No, man. We ain't thinking that. We thinking we're going to be delivered, man. It's going to be so many Israelites get delivered. That means that what? The Lord protected you through all the hell. Jacob's trouble is going to be a fight for everybody, man. But a great multitude gets delivered. What do you think? You think that uh, some kind of way Esau, you know, he going to still be trying to get at us. He going to be trying to get all the brothers, man. We all marked. We on this comment board right now. You think devils ain't watching? Yeah, look at these Israelites. Yeah, they watching us. So what? Fuck you, man. You ain't going to do nothing, man. The Lord going to deliver the Israelites. And we stand boldly on the promises, man. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Fuck you devils, man. And your little plans. You, you people so tacky, man. Shit make you angry. You, all you do is lie. And then you and then you try to have a national day of prayer. This is bullshit. A national day of prayer. For, never mind the Israelites. Never mind the prophets. You try to go around the prophets. I'm going to pray to the Most High. Meanwhile, you plan to kill the Most High people. Man, the Lord going to fuck you people up, man. You people are devils. They ain't got Paula White. You a woman. You ain't got no business preacher. Stand up there to out, pray to the Lord for, for a vaccine. Man, fuck your vaccine, man. That shit get you mad, man. You know? Anyway, I had promised myself I wouldn't get all heated, man. Shit shit make us fighting mad, man. That's right, Elder. He said, overcome Elder Yashawama. Overcome thoughts of fear with thoughts on the victory, man. And we got the victory. The elect got the victory already, man. Shit make you fight mad, but we gotta remain, you know. Man, you better, you people better hope. Boy, we get spiritual power, man. We ain't sparing nobody, man. If you ain't of the elect, you ain't getting spared. Don't come begging us for mercy in that day. You ain't getting no damn mercy, man. All this wickedness you people doing. You got a nerd, you know, it's bullshit, man. Now, I got some more scriptures here. Let's also remember this one, though. All right? To be in order. This is Romans 13, verse 1. It says this. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power of the Most High, the powers Salaki. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. We know Esau been set up by the Heavenly Father to grind the two-thirds in the powder, to open the faucet of the blood on the whole earth so that he can not be uh, found innocent. Because you're going to do a lot of killing the Israelites. We know, but we don't expect to be among those that you kill. We don't expect that. Whosoever therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinance of the most high so if you come and you say you got to take us to get a little test or whatever we'll go hell yeah we're gonna be scared I won't, i'll be scared i got a little cough right now i ain't trying to go nowhere around no damn doctors no hospital you ain't poking me with nothing you ain't putting no swab in my nose none of that my mind says that but the scriptures say you're supposed to be in order right and as long as if the most High have it if the most High don't get me out of it by the time they come and try to grab me then i'm gonna have to go and you should have the same mind state. If the Most High don't, if he don't send the angels to warn you beforehand to get you out of the way, if he don't make it where the damn devils don't find your place where you live, if he don't make it where they trip over the steps and break all their necks before they get there, if they get into the house, you must know that the Most High wanted them to get there. All right? So you're going to have to go and see what the next step is. Don't do the dumb thing. Yeah, I'm going to get my AR. I'm going to cock it back away from them devils. I'm going to blast them. And you know you're going to die. You know you're going to die. Right? You can't do that. You're going to lack faith. Now, the most high, he's going to put the spirit on certain people to fight, of course. You know, that goes without saying. You know, some Jake going to try to be a, a militia Israelites. Go ahead. We already know what your end going to be. Your end going to be the same as Judas Maccabees there, man. You know, which that was great warriors, but they, they hey, they got took off the plan. Your, your end going to be like Nat Turner's. They're going to take your damn skin. They're going <laughs> to put it into a Super Bowl football or some shit. This is our remnant saved 144, 1 John 2 and 4. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that, that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word of the Most High abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Woo, right. 
we gonna overcome these damn devils. See, that's the part that they don't, you know, all the fear. They, they, hey, this is for the corner Israelites to be afraid. This is for the for the punk ass Israelites that hadn't sold no seeds of faith, man. And I don't mean by giving money. I mean they hadn't sold anything to the spirit. All they've been doing is doing the brew walk, the woo walk, doing all that shit. You gotta lean on faith, man. Ain't nobody gonna be delivered out of this unless the most I want you to be delivered anyway, man. You gotta remember that. But going back to Romans 13 now. It says, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. If you try to fight back, they're going to destroy you. Right? Yahweh Shai said it. If my servants will, if this was my kingdom, then would my servants fight. You ain't got to be fighting. The Lord going to fight our battles, man. Psalm says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Don't start trying to come up with your mind with a plan in your mind. See, yeah, I'm gonna call my boy Ray Ray. He gonna get the AK and then we gonna spray and make him have a bad day. Oh man, come on, man. You gonna get <laughs> Esau gonna, gonna call up an airstrike, gonna blow your whole shit up, man. Just go ahead and go and trust in the Lord. Be praying all the way, man. Just be praying all the way, man. <laughs> I got a motherfucking AK. <laughs> that little hood shit, that shit ain't gonna work, man. This is something spiritual right here, right? Now all that all that treasure you've been building up in heaven, this is when it's gonna pay off, man. Right? They that have gathered faith for a treasure, this is when it's gonna pay off. Let me read you another scripture real quick, man. Let me read you something right quick. In Romans 13, yeah, you supposed to, and as I did the lesson a weeks ago, you supposed to follow the ordinances, you're supposed to follow the laws of the land until you can't. When you can't follow the laws of the land, then that's something different, man. Right? When they try to give you a chip, of course you ain't gonna take the chip. Of course you ain't gonna take the vaccine. But if they come and they say, Come with us and take a test. What the hell are they gonna do when your test say you negative? Well, give him a test again. He gotta have it. Well, the Most High gonna make that thing say negative. They gonna have to let you go, man. The Most High gonna deliver. He, hey, what is what does the scripture say? Is his is his hand shortened that it cannot save, man? This is our remnant save 144, Elder Yashua, Philippians 1 and 20. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with boldness, as always. So now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. Woo! Tear jerker right there, man. And that's heavy. And you brothers, forgive me. There's so many scriptures going on the comment board, you know, to lock you. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. You got, hey, it's, it's easy to say what you want to do, man. But you got, to, you got to lean on faith. That's our only, that's our spiritual power is faith, man. That's one of our spiritual powers on this side in this weakened state is faith, man. And this word right here. These devils, they the one that should be scared. They the one that going to get melted. The Lord going to come with the army from heaven. And that's when we're going to be proud. Like Elder uh, Ramlob said today, Elder Apostle Ramlob said, man, we're going to be so proud in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to be, man, we're going to be arrogant as fuck on you devils, man. It's going to start when the Lord come. When them chariots come, everybody going to want to go how beautiful they look. But you ain't going to be able to go. You're going to be looking at that beautiful gold one minute. Next minute, that heat ray going to come out and it's going to melt your ass, man. That's what's going to happen to you. We are the children of the king. We're going to be delivered. The scripture said we left uh, we left away from Jerusalem in captivity, but we're going to be returning as exalted as children of the kingdom, man. And that's a promise right there. That's a promise. You know? That's a promise right there. Y'all bear with me while I get this scripture. And the brother put it up already, but it's so far back. I can't find it, man. But I'm going to go ahead and find it and read it. Um... Can a bro yeah, a brother put that, that scripture up. Keep thee far from the man. Somebody re put that, repost that if you would, please. It's gonna take me too long to get it. While I while we wait though, I'll, I'll read this other one. This is Second Ezra's right here. Listen to this. I was reading this this morning. It's Second Ezra's chapter 14, verse 13. It says this. Now therefore, set thine house in order. Now we know we've been in the grace period, right? But now you're in the grace period inside of the grace period, which is you know that ain't written. But I'm saying it like that because the Lord could have easily let this thing go all the way, but he held them devils back. Why? So we could get ourselves in order so that we can continue, right? So we can continue getting ready. And the brother got the scripture now, so I'll read it. I'm the one I bought. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Remember, this man been given power to kill. Romans 13, he bears not the sword in vain. He looking for a reason to put you down. He looking for a reason to kill you. 
if they come to you nice, like them cops are being nice. Maybe that was just for the camera. They was over explaining that thing. That dude, we don't owe, we don't have to do anything. <laughs> we don't owe you anything, you know. You are hypocrites. He could have got fucked up. If he was a Jake, they would have beat the shit out of him and you would have still, you would have been at the hospital all bleeding. Before they gave you a test, they would have had to bandage your ass up. Don't do that to yourself, man. You know, and I ain't, and I, some crazy, is there nigga Jim there telling people, man, to go with Esau. Trust Esau. I, when did I say trust Esau? I never said that one damn time. I said trust the most high. The most high control these devils, man. Right? Just like the apostles, when they got, when they got arrested back during the year 2000 thing, when the uh, World Trade Center thing happened, you know, they went ahead and then went. What happened? They got delivered, man. Right? If they wouldn't have got delivered back then, none of us would have heard the word. They got delivered. They got delivered out of it, man. There are many stories of deliverance. Peter them from the from jail, right? Joseph got out of prison. And many men, just because you go to prison don't mean that's going to be the end, man. You got to, hey, the end don't come to the end come. If that's your end, then that's your end, right? But the Lord going to be with us, man, no matter what. Remember that. If you don't believe that, then, hey, you know, Jake gonna give up. As soon as they come, show, oh, shit, they had the dough. What I'm gonna do? Get the AK, my nigga, get it. See? Yeah, load it up. <laughs> We're gonna rat a tat tat on these fools. Yep. And you're gonna be laid out, too. Wait and see what the Lord gonna do, man. The scriptures say, when, uh, be patient when I change to a lower state. Make no haste in time of, uh, I forget exactly, you know what, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, I believe it is, man. The Lord said it. Make not haste. In time of uh, trouble, I believe. I don't know exactly. I'm messing the scriptures all up, man. But y'all know the ones, right? You got to be patient. Be patient, man. The Lord don't work when you want him to work, but he always on time, man. That's right, brother. Brother said, better get you some oil and repent, man. Nope. Yeah, yeah uh, Elder Yatazak said, it's going to be a flawless victory when the Lord fight for us. You know it. You know that. And you know this, man. Flawless victory, man. And I got to admit, man, you know, when you hear it, you get a little, you know, you get a little shook, man. But, hey, the scriptures say, fear not them that can destroy their body, but after they have nothing else that they can do. But fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell, man. You don't know what the Lord going to do. The man, the most high might make animals run out of the forest and surround your whole house. He might make the weather get immediately bad so that a sandstorm come in a place where sandstorms don't normally come. And it just might, the sand might jam up all their vehicles so they can't ride. Low visibility. You don't know what the Lord going to do, man. You got to expect these miracles, though. Is anything too hard for the Lord? The answer will be no. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Stop doing, don't be doing wickedness. You gotta act like every day might be your last, you know, you, hey, you don't know when you lay down at night at four in the morning they're gonna kick your door in, man. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Will I die? Will it hurt? Is it gonna, uh, you know, let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, man. There's a lot more other stuff to worry about. We need to be worried about is the most high pleased with us instead of worrying about what the devil gonna do. What do you think the devil gonna do? He's the devil, for goodness sake, man. We ain't about to worry about you damn devils, man. You people are weak, you low, and you hurt that you ain't got the birthright. That's why you. Really, that's really why you want to kill us. You want to kill us because we did such a great job through the Spirit of the Lord, preaching the word, you found out you was the Edomites. Now you want to kill us all. You had to come up with a lie. You had to lie. You had to cheat to try to win, man. Yeah, see, these, these, these African Americans, these Negroes, Latinos, they're four times as likely to get the coronavirus. Really? You just said the Chinese people was the reason why I got over here. Now it's our fault. Your little sickly asses. You want our organs now. You want to sell our organs on the black market. But then we're, you know, we're, we're the reason why everybody getting sick. Yeah, okay. We don't believe that shit, man. We are children of the most high. We are princes, daughters, and sons of the living God, man. Sons and daughters of the living God. Our God parted the Red Sea and we went over dry. Right? We went over dry shot, man. That's how we rolling. We rolling in, 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 in dignity. Of the most high, man. Act like it, kings and queens. If you if we're gonna be that, which we are, you gotta expect to be delivered, man. You gotta be you gotta expect to be delivered out of this thing. And we we do expect that. I know I do. Def, if I die, I'm gonna be surprised as shit. <laughs> oh shit, I'm dying. I thought I'm gonna get delivered. Come on, Lord. If I die, I'm gonna be surprised as shit. 
All right, I ain't went out there and did all that work and baked in the hot sun and froze in the damn freezing cold in Pittsburgh and other places just so I can get destroyed? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I want a refund. <laughs> nah, but at the end of the day, though, they're going to be martyrs. We know that, man. But I don't expect that. I'm, I'm having, you know, I'm having visions of getting in. I hadn't had a literal vision, but I'm saying in my mind, I'm envisioning being delivered, man. I'm envisioning seeing you how shy. You know, like as soon as you see him, you're going to just start crying. Is that him? Oh, wow. Look at his robe. You know, whatever, man. That's what we looking for, man. We looking for, you know, we looking for great deliverance, man. When the angels come, you know, so, man, you might go outside your house and there'll be two big ass angels standing next to your door. You know, you don't know what's going to happen, man. You gotta, hey, we gonna just know the Lord gonna, the Lord's gonna be with us, man. You know, I ain't really got nothing else, man. I just wanted to offer that, cause I, I just felt the fear from everybody. I know everybody was like, oh shit, the pandemic police. What we gonna do now? We gonna get delivered now. That's what we gonna do. This is James 1 and 2, 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And it goes on for all the un, right, unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. And I want to rephrase that. I don't mean I want to refund as in, I wouldn't do it all over again. Yeah, I would do it all over again. If that's gotta be my end, if I gotta go down, you know, if you gotta give your life for the truth, then you just gotta do that. That's just your, you know, that's your role. But if they come for you, have some dignity, have some respect, and be a man, be a woman, man, right? Walk in the fear of the Lord. Don't walk in the fear of men. A brother from Tampa Bay just had a, he did a lesson about a vision he had. He said that they, they took him in his vision and they were asking him questions about what's this about babylon the great being destroyed what's all this stuff you've been saying and he said and immediately when they asked him he said when he started responding to them he said all the fear left him man because the spirit of the lord came on him. he said yeah yeah babylon the great gonna be destroyed he said he got in the spirit man and we gotta be the same way man damn devils come ask me i might start preaching up in that bitch you just never know man you gotta be ready to be delivered be ready to be delivered you gotta be ready to be delivered. and if the most high you know, if you make this thing come to the point where you got to face the guillotine, you just got to face it. But it's going to be way more delivered than they get martyred. A great multitude which no man can number. You know how many people that is? That's a lot of people, man. So that means it's going to be way more people getting delivered than get, well, uh, two-thirds going to get destroyed. But as far as when the end finally comes, when the, when the, when the saving of the elect happens, that's when the multitude, <coughs> excuse me, of the two-thirds going to get destroyed during that time, man. When the missiles come, they're going to burn up a whole lot of people, man. Now, during Jacob's trouble, a lot of Jake going to go to their death. But that's for, hey, man, it's for the wicked Jakes to be worried. Not us, man. We should be thinking about high things like being delivered, you know? And I can, there's so many scriptures on the comment board, I can't even, man. I got to get this one. GMS Louisville, Kentucky. Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. That's right. And it's going to be a great many that overcome. How are we going to start the kingdom over with no people? You think the Lord going to let these devils kill all of us? Now, according to their thinking and their logic, they think, yeah, we got Jacob. Now we going to get, you ain't going to get shit. Them angels going to mess y'all people up, man. They're going to fuck up your international space station, all your planes and jets and satellites. YouTube ain't going to exist no more. So, uh, Zuckerberg and all these people, these, man, these motherfuckers going to be slaves, man. Shit. Talking all what you gonna do. You talking proud against the Lord of hosts, man. The Lord gonna kill you people, man. All our enemies gonna get trampled in that day. But before that happens, we gonna see a bunch of miracles, man. A bunch of miracles. That's right, brother. Bashar got that uh Bashar Banyamyan Sarak 428. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. We ain't been doing all this work for no reason. We've been doing the work because we believed, therefore, we have spoken that the Lord was gonna deliver us, man. Warrior for Yasharala, Luke 17, 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. For example, you think you're going to save your life by loading up your one gun or your two guns or your three guns. You only got two hands against a whole army of people outside waiting to kill you. You're better off just going on, finding out what the end of the matter is. You know? I mean, shit, you don't know what the Lord going to perform, man. The Most High may have you go with the authorities just to give a... a, a for just to condemn them you might go in there and start speaking the word to them and they might just fall out and die the lord might just make bring a plague on everybody right there man you got to expect miraculous deliver deliverance man that's what i'm expecting i'm expecting when the word come out of our mouth they're gonna just turn into ashes man shit like that that's what you got to look forward to and that's just what it is man our lord is a, is a great consuming fire and he's gonna get us out of this shit 
I don't know how, but he's going to get us out of it, man. You got to believe it. Yeah, great, great point. GMS Hagnos and Estrofe, keep your integrity if they come for you. Beautiful. The water, Elder. That's his, hey, I, I said all that I said just to say that. Keep your integrity if they come for you. Don't get all messed up, start crying. All right, wait, Esau, wait now. I mean, I, I know the chip is a market. I still take it. As long as I get to stay here and play Xbox, man, hell no, man. Hell no. You got to put off this, this, the things of this world, man. Now, hey, we should be excited, which we all are. We excited now. We can move it into the next phase, next phase, man. The new normal is not normal. This right here is about to be something else. And these devils, every they so nervous. They're so twitchy and nervous. They keep coming on the news. They're contact traces. We're going we gonna to scan everybody. We're going to chip everybody. Yeah, yeah. Our Lord going to kill all you people, man. <laughs> He's going to kill all y'all. Esau so damn jealous, man. But that that uh National Day of Prayer, that, that was a fucking insult, man. You think you're going to get to the Lord. You forget the prophets. Never mind. Never mind us. We don't even exist. Fuck the Israelites. We just going to pray for all the iniquity we done done. Man, Lord ain't hearing you. He don't hear sinners. You people are through, man. That's a bad scripture. Word for Yasharala, Deuteronomy 4 and 2. For the Lord thy power is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. And what is the most high? If you jealous and we the bride, we the lamb's wife, and you mess with his wife, what you think he gonna do? It's gonna be some 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 slow singing and some flower bringing. <laughs> That's what the Lord about to do, man. Amana Yasharala, Matthew 10, 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. Him will I confess before my Father, which is in heaven. You want me to be afraid of some flesh creatures, some old wrinkly devils that can't even save their own selves, can't even poop right because they're all out of whack? You want me to be afraid of them? Hell no. I ain't afraid of you, man. I'm afraid of what my Lord going to do to you when he come, man. I'm ready to see it, though. Bring on the miracles. We ready to go. Come get this work, devils. Come get this work that the Lord of hosts about to put on you, man. We're going to end it right there, man. And that is what it is, brothers. Hey. What are you gonna do when they come for you? You're gonna walk in integrity. You're gonna, you're gonna man up, man. You're gonna man up like men and women of the of the most high, your how by Hashem, your how shot, man. Have some dignity about yourselves and expect deliverance. And we'll pray. Let's all pray, man, that the Lord deliver us and continue to fight for us. Cause he's gonna do that thing, man. You watch. You watch. We know he's gonna do it, man. That's how the that's how the book ends. You know? We rule on in the kingdom of heaven for eternity, man. We live forever after this shit, man. So don't you know. Hey, the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. Fight the good fight of faith, man. All right? I'm going I'm to leave it right there, man. All praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the hope of the elect. Death to you devils, man. You're going down. You're going down. You're going down. Shalom.